What up, y'all? Welcome back to Ruckus TV. Today, we're unboxing the Eagle Crank that's going in the LS1 for the Ruckus Drift Car. Let's get into it. All right, so the crank. Let's open it up. In the box we've got an Eagle sticker. And the crank. There we go. Roll it this way. See, got a couple tags here. This tag is a warning. It says, thank you for your purchase. Chevrolet LS 4340 Crankshaft Eagle Specialties products. Runout was checked by Eagle's factory technicians and measured at 0 .010 or one thousandths. The reluctor ring runout must not exceed 0 .028 or 28 thousands where the engine will not start if you have any questions contact them boom, boom, boom. now here we've got notice not returnable okay so if you're buying these these are not returnable all right so a little bit about the crank <clears throat> it is a the stroke on it is a 3.622 it is made from forged 4340 steel it is internally balanced, one piece of course, 24 tooth reluctor wheel, narrowed bearings as I was saying. The rod journal diameter is 2.1, main journal diameter is 2.559, balancer thread bolt size is M16 by 2.0, it's a standard crank snout, 54 pounds of forged steel. It's got a target bob weight of plus or minus 2%. This crank features a non-twist forging. It also undergoes a multi-stage heat treatment process. It's also stress relieved and shot peened. These cranks are x-rayed, magnafluxed, and sonic tested. So you know you're getting top quality. Each crankshaft has chamfered oil holes for improved oiling, a 0.125 inch radius on rod and main journals for increased strength, and the journals are precision ground and micro polished to less than 5 RA. I can't wait to put this motor together. It's coming together soon. I got a couple more parts I'm waiting on, and then I got to do the machining of the block, but it should be pretty easy the motor only had about 1500 miles on it maybe 2000 at the very most so we should be able to get it in do a light cleaning and then the honing and then of course for the heads we'll do the the angle grinding for the valves and then what else are we gonna do I was thinking about porting and polishing it but I think for now I'm just gonna leave that alone if I want to upgrade at some point I will take the heads off again since it's fairly easy to do obviously that's why we go LS baby but I may do that in the future but for now I just want to you know we'll see maybe I will I fuck I don't know all right so originally I was thinking of, about just buying new gears for the setup however after thinking about it I realized I have a dual sprocket with the two chain or whatever the dual chain so I can't, I can't just, well, I probably could just go buy a new gear set, but I don't want to do that. I just pull it off the old and then uh, sell the crank as is, so. Papa, I will let you down. Okay. No, that TV is. It didn't work, hold on. 
All right, y'all, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, be the ruckus, bring the ruckus, and I'm out.